All right, boys, today I think I've just come across one of the most salty and delusional survivors I have ever met. This person has the brain of a donkey. There is just no way this human is real. But before we dive into the messages, I need to give y'all some context. So today I played the twins, and I literally never play this killer. I do not touch this killer once in a freaking blue moon do I ever play as this killer. It's safe to say that this is easily one of my worst killers because I am just inexperienced with her but anyways i gave her a spin today i gave her a whirl you know i hopped in on twins just to see what i can make happen in um this is what ended up happening So yeah, that team sucked a fart out of Victor's ass. Um, they got absolutely greased. It was too goddamn easy, let me tell you. Uh, they got decimated, eviscerated, decapitated, everything under the sun. They basically used my ball sweat as chapstick. But you know survivors these days, they can't just give you props when it's due. No, no, no. We gotta get salty and cry about it. Of freaking course. So I had a whole back and forth with this little brain dead termite here. And oh, it got juicy. So let's... Let's dive into the psyche of a delusional, salty, entitled Survivor main. So they kick it off with trash. Despite losing in incredibly embarrassing fashion by somebody that literally never plays twins, somehow I'm still trash. Okay, cool. So my response was, first time playing twins in forever, yet I still beat you. LOL, salty bozo, get better. And then I uh, gave them some salt shakers. Their response was, Sure, bud, after they got a broken buff. Take YouTube out your name, loser. I, I love the loser calling me a loser. You literally just lost! Anyways, so I say they reverted the big buff. Bro, I never touched this killer. You're just bad. Like, buff or not? Bro, I don't use this killer and you still lost. You're trash. They said you're dumb. They did not revert everything. I said they reverted what made her broken, which they did. They did revert the buff from the PTB that made her an absolutely busted killer yes now you can't kick victor after he gets successful hits or whatever he turns white and you know you can't kick him he has immunity but he is not i wouldn't say he's broken nurse is broken blight another example of broken but twins twins you're calling tw you're calling the current state of twins right now broken uh, i think you're just bad brother i think that's just a skill issue i think by absolutely zero means is twins right now broken their response was you just like to slug like a loser ain't nobody subbing to you buddy all right so is did i win because twins is broken or did i win because i slug like bro you gotta pick something here you gotta pick a reason you have to pick one of these bullshit excuses you gotta roll with one which one are we going with is it is twins broken or did i win because i slugged like you gotta you gotta pick one and i'm sorry are you complaining about a twins slugging you do realize you do realize, like, that's how you play twins, right? Like, that's kind of, like, the thing. You, like, okay, uh, so so I slugged with twins. Next time, what, are you going to cry because I exposed you with Ghostface? I insta morried you with a Myers? Are you going to be mad because I, I hit you with a blink with Nurse? Like, bro, you're just going to cry about killer powers at this point? Like, how, how you're supposed to use them? Is that what we're doing? Like, bro, you only won because you trapped me with Trapper. Like, bro, use your brain. Say it out loud to hear how stupid you sound right now. Earlier, I said, she isn't S tier, you're just bad. And they said, I never said she was, you're just dumb. But here, you're saying that she's bad broken which would imply that she must be like s tier or something right because i mean if she's broken she must be s tier alongside other broken killers but then you're saying she's not s tier you just don't make sense like you you actually just don't make sense once again we are peering into the mind of an entitled survivor just seeing how how things are working in there seeing what's going on and as you can see, it's just nothing makes sense. Like, it's just reaching for any possible excuse to justify their embarrassing loss. Never, not even once, will they ever hold a mirror up to their face and look at their own reflection. Look at their own actions. What they did wrong. No, 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 no. They're always gonna blame it on you. And they act like you're not supposed to beat them or something. You know what I mean? Like, you're getting angry because, because I apparently slugged with twins, right? Like, is that a problem? What, what's, counter it. 
Wh what's the problem, bro? You think I'm beating Team Eternal right now by just slugging them? No, they're going to destroy me with twins because I don't know how to play that goddamn killer. They, they're going to know how to counter me. Duh. Like, you're just not good because if you brought a better team in here, slugging would not be enough to beat them. If you brought better players in here, slugging would not be enough to beat them. You are literally just bad. I said, you're just bad and salty, get better, cry baby, easy win. They say, you're awful. I say, so you lost to someone that's awful. What's that say about you? They say, well, I hope someone that slugs can get kills. I say, you're just bad. They say, you're trash without slugging. Says the dude who can only win by slugging. I say, I win with no perks on Trapper all the time. I never need to slug. They say, you're trash, sure you do. They must not know who I am. I say, you're just not good. They say, you're trash, bud. I said, it's on my channel, dude. See for yourself. Delusional baby entitled bad and angry. They say, I don't care about your YouTube, bud. I say, I never said you did, but you said, sure you do. So I gave you a source for the proof. Like, brother, I'm not trying to get you to care about my YouTube. You say, I don't, you're insinuating, right? You're implying that I don't actually win with Trapper with no perks all the time, et cetera, et cetera, right? So I'm giving you the proof that I do. And now you're saying, oh, I, I don't care about your YouTube. I'm not trying to get you to care. I'm trying to show you the proof, dumbass. I am convinced that a cave worm has a higher IQ than these types of people right here. I'm fully convinced. This is like an interaction with an Oblivion NPC or something. This is like someone saying, tomorrow isn't Saturday. And then you hand them a calendar and they're like, whoa, buddy, I don't care about your calendar. Brother, I, you, where do you find these people? Like what farm in Stupidville are they growing these people? They said, I really don't care to look up your YouTube. Brother, I'm not trying to get you. I, I don't, I don't care if you, I don't want you on my YouTube. I don't want you on my YouTube. Your energy is horrendous. I don't want your bad energy, your negative and stupid delusional energy anywhere near my YouTube. Stay away. I don't want you on it. And then I add that they couldn't loot me longer than five seconds in any chase, which they literally couldn't. This person, like, I shit you, I don't have the game recorded. Guys, this person was not good at the game. Like, they were, I know what a good survivor looks like. This person was genuinely terrible. This was bad. This was an actual warm-up match. Like, behavior gave me, like, a mid-MMR match for my first Twins game in forever. This is not a high MMR good survivor. This is an actual bot. I have been looped longer by actual bots than this person right here. So I said, okay, then don't cry about me only being able to win by slugging, even though I have hundreds of videos where I'm winning without slugging on a weak killer with zero perks. I said, you're just not good at the game. You can't last in chase at all. And you're crying about a twins slugging as if that isn't what she's designed to do. And then they send me a bunch of laughing emojis. And I say, exactly nothing to say. Typical delusional, salty, entitled survivor. They say, keep sending paragraphs trash can. This is just a way to not engage in anything you just said when you're starting to really prove points here. And that they have no, they have no retort, no counterpoint. They just, oh, you're typing paragraphs. Oh, well, you're, you look how mad you are. They do the same. It's, it's the tactic people use. They have no argument. They have no counterpoint. They just have to resort to this juvenile bullshit here. So I thought I would simplify it for the simpleton. I said, answer this. If I'm trash, but I beat you, what does that make you? They were taking a wild answer. I said, very simple question. Hopefully your brain doesn't overheat. Then I said, your last two brain cells are fighting to the death right now trying to figure this out, aren't they? Their response was, beat me by slugging. A trash can like yourself can do that. You aren't good. Hmm? Even, even twins is like, hmm? Like, bro, that did not, that did not answer my question. I said, what does that make you? And you said, beat me by slugging. That makes you beat me by slugging? Brother, you've got to be fresh out of a lobotomy there is just no way there is just zero way this is a human brain a fully intact human brain i am interacting with right now i said okay buddy keep blaming it on that instead of reflecting on your lack of skill so what are you going to do about killers that aren't good beating you you do realize a good team of survivors would have beaten me right i said i play twins like twice a year and still beat you it's a skill issue but you'll never blame yourself for your own losses only everybody else they said here, okay, bud, I'm having fun trolling you right now while you keep sending paragraphs. You're not trolling me. We all know this. And if you were trolling me, you're just getting...
counter trolled because I'm just using you for a video. I'm getting paid off of this shit. You're just wasting your own time for free. You're giving me free labor right now. I am benefiting off of you. You gain nothing from this. You're just giving me free content. This is a, this is a free video. I didn't even need to play my two matches today or anything. I'm just using you for a whole entire video. You're giving me an easy night's work. So you can go ahead and try to play it off like you're this ultimate mastermind that's been trolling me all along, but check and mate, bitch boy, because I get paid off this shit. You're putting money in my pockets right now. And I said, nah, you weren't trolling. I just started making too much sense for you. They say, uh-huh, right? I say, just get better, bro. They say, you're trash. I said, 1-0, who beat who? Okay, then. They said, by a way that a brain person could do, yeah. I say, 1-0, I won, you lost, get over it. They say, brain dead. I say, stop crying and get better. They say, you're trash. I say, if my IQ is zero and I still beat you, then yours must be in the negatives. They say, it's easier to play brain dead like you do than to actually have skill. Oh, oh, but this person's trolling, right? As they keep going on, right? Like they're not trolling. This person is actually just salty and stupid. At this point, we're just talking in circles. So I say, K okay, loser, get better. Learn to loop longer than five seconds. They say, loser with YT in his name, calling someone else loser. Irony, desperate loser. I say, winner, because I won, remember? They say, nah, YT in your name makes you a loser, bud. Ain't nobody respect that. Okay. So... <clears throat> This is the mind of an entitled survivor. This is it right here. I don't even know where to begin. This is like a stupid onion. There's just layers of stupidity. I don't, I don't know where to begin here. I'm just curious, where did this start? Like, who was the first person to cry about slugging? Who, who was the first person to do that? Look what you've created. Whoever out there, the, the first guy, the first streamer, content creator, whoever, to, to cry on stream about slugging, look what you've created. This right here. The most entitled community ever. I think it, it may be actually the most entitled community in gaming. I've, I've never seen it. I've played a lot of games. Call of Duty, League of Legends, Overwatch, Valorant. I played all sorts of Halo. I played everything. World of Warcraft. I played so many different types of games. I've been exposed to so many different communities. Never in my life have I seen a more entitled community than this. This is actually just beyond me. I am of the belief that slugging, even if you're not playing twins, is an incredibly valid way to win the game. You have a bleed out feature. And it, it lasts quite long. Someone has plenty of time to save you. Now, do I think slugging in certain situations is kind of just an asshole move? Sure. Sure, like slugging for the 4K, you know, like, but but then again, then don't reward killers for getting those extra blood points. They're doing it for the extra blood points. Cry about it. Behavior encourages and incentivizes this sort of play style. There's nothing you can do about it. There's, there's nothing you can do about it. You, you can't blame killers for doing what the, the game itself is allowing them to do. It's all in the rules. You know what I mean? Like you, they're not breaking any rules by slugging or doing anything like this. They're, they're not breaking any rules. It's perfectly fine. Like, why would I hook you knowing that it could compromise me? You could have deliverance. You could have any number of perks. It, it could be in a, at a bad time where I need to apply pressure right now. Maybe a gen is about to pop that I really need to hold down. Maybe in a, a good area and, and you're about to break a, a good gen setup I have. And I need to get r right over there right now to try to interrupt that generator. I need to lay you there. And then maybe someone injured I know is working on that gen. Maybe I could get down, get them down. Maybe they're on their death hook. I can put them on a hook, get them out the game, etc. There are so many different scenarios and instances where slugging is perfectly reasonable and it just makes the most sense. Yet we have a community that is just crying about it. Like, bro, all I did there was use twins power. I just, I just played twins. Y'all saw, like, I just played twins and this person is crying about it. Mind you. This is the same person who tried to run up to me and kick me. It was the Leon. They tried to run up to me and kick me while I had my immunity. So they don't even, they literally didn't even know what they were doing. This person doesn't even know the killer. There's a, oh, the killer's so, uh, it's too overpowered. <laughs> Bro, you don't even know how the buff works. You don't even know how the changes were implemented because you ran up to me trying to kick me. I mean, you know so much about the killer, right? You know so much about the game. Then why did you try to kick me knowing I had immunity? Because you didn't know because you don't know what you're talking about. And I swear, it's always the worst survivors talking the most shit. A good team of survivors would never be put in that sort of situation. There's no, there's no shot. There is no shot they're getting put in that situation right there. They're too good. Why were y'all all injured and in one cluster in the middle of the map with like low, like low walls and stuff that I can just leap over? Why were y'all all there? Like, that is just brain dead survivor behavior. A good team isn't putting themselves in a situation that could just snowball the whole freaking game like that. Like, you're just bad at the game. 
You're doing all this crying. And see, this is why you're bad at the game. Though. This is why you don't improve. You've probably been bad at this game for a really long time. Let's be honest. You've probably been this bad at the game for an incredibly long time. You're probably, you, you've just plateaued. You're not getting any better. And it's because of this. You're not reflecting on your mistakes. You're just blaming, oh, the killer used his traps. The killer used his power. The killer did this. The killer did that. You do realize the killer is supposed to beat you, right? You, you do realize that, right? Like, you can blame the killer for all your losses all you want, but then you'll never win. You'll never improve because the killer is supposed to beat you. I mean, that is your opposition, correct? Their goal is to beat you. Your goal is to beat them. So if you're blaming the killer, if you're blaming the opposition on your loss all the time, that means you are just bad. How does this not make sense? Like, am I the only one? I swear to God, I feel like I'm the only person sometimes with a functioning brain. I feel like I'm the only person that can see things logically here. And this person claims to be a troll, right? We all know this is not a troll, but this person claims to be a troll. But there's so many people that aren't trolling that have this exact same line of thought. And it's, it's genuinely scary. Like, this is, this is alarming stupidity. Like, th this shit isn't even healthy. It's like going against LeBron and being like, bro, he only won because he dunked on me. No shit! Duh, that's what he does! Like, uh, going against Curry, oh, right, he's only winning because he's getting all these three-pointers. No shit! Like, at what point is it just your fault? For all the survivors out there, because I know some survivors out there that, that do exactly this in Killer's Messages, right? You're going to be watching this video. I have a question for you. At what point is it just your fault? At what point do you just need to get better? At what point do you need to look in the mirror and be like, oh, this is what I did wrong. Damn, I need to, I need to self-reflect. You know, engage in some self-reflection. It's just so weird to me that you're blaming the opposition for your loss as if their goal isn't to beat you. Uh, how does that make any sense? So yeah, we're living in a day and age where uh, using your ability as killer is, uh, it means you're trash. It means you're trash at the game. It means you're toxic. It means you're, you're, you're just bad. And it's the only reason you won is because you use the killer's ability properly. Yeah, it's the only reason you won. And I could literally show this person hundreds of videos of me beating tons of four-man swifts, bringing all the meta shit, four P100s, way more hours than me in the game, just beating them consistently with Trapper, no perks. And they'll still find some sort of reason to to call me trash or whatever, to, to completely undermine everything I did and discredit me, ultimately. Just discredit me. And that's all these survivors do is they just discredit killers. Like, they're not acknowledging any of the skill that I had to bring to the table to make that shit happen. Because I did hit that clean-ass shot over those boxes on what I believe the Vittorio. I had a clean-ass shot. Oh, but we're just going to ignore all that and say, oh, I only won because I slugged. Okay, man. So, yeah, let me know y'all's thoughts. I thought this was incredibly funny. I already know I'm going to get a bunch of people saying, why are you giving this person so much attention? I I'm just farming them for a video. That that's all it is. I'm just just farming them for a video i know this is an easy video to make it's fun um and a lot of people love this so i'm just i just keep giving them some some bait so they just they keep biting and biting and they think they're like outsmarting me by oh I, you're, i'm a troll this whole time but i literally just farmed a whole video out of you so it's too easy but anyways uh yeah let me know y'all's thoughts on this um who's out of line here am i am i am i the one in the wrong or is this person in the wrong share your thoughts below anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video stay healthy peace